This is a chainsaw. But unlike any other chainsaw, it's in the mouth of a giant robot squirrel. It's fluffy, it's terrifying, and it's invented by six-year-old Erin. I'm Ruth, a patent-holding inventor and maker. And I'm Sean, a designer and engineer. And we believe that kids have the best invention ideas. So join us on our mission to build kids' ideas, make mistakes, and show that anyone can be an inventor. Kids invent stuff. This is Erin's invention drawing. She designed a mechanical squirrel tree pruning device. Okay, so Erin has given us a lovely picture here of a before and after of tree pruning. So pruning is when you cut off dead or overgrown bits of a tree to make the tree grow bigger and better. So the question we need to ask first is how are we going to make Erin's invention prune the tree? When people prune trees, we use something like this or a saw. Now we left these outside all day and not a single squirrel picked these up. But what they did do is they picked up nuts and they put them in their mouth. So squirrels obviously do their pruning with their mouth. So when people want to automatically prune trees, they would use a chainsaw. And we're no strangers of chainsaws on this channel. We've even made a tickling one, but that is not gonna prune trees. However, we think this might do, and it looks a little bit like a squirrel's mouth with a chainsaw inside, an absolutely terrifying squirrel's mouth. Please don't try this at home or anywhere else. In fact, we're building this so you don't have to. Okay, so we've taken our secondhand chainsaw jaws and we've attached some things. We've attached this piece of metal here that's gonna be the neck of our squirrel and we've attached this linear actuator. So this motor is gonna push and pull to move our chainsaw so we can automatically make our squirrel chomp some things. What is going on? You're furring a squirrel. I'm furring a squirrel. That's I mean, it looks terrifying. You know the old expression. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. It might actually happen looking at this thing. It's so fluffy. Hello, friend. <laughs> It's like a really angry cloud. We seem to have made a sheep. The squirrel needs a tail. And I think this might work as the basis of the tail. It's a little arm hand. A little squirrel hand. Oh, it's gonna lie. <laughs> Just one on his head. <laughs> That's the wrong place, Rue. Yeah. It's not going to have an eye there. So the next question, how are we going to make this thing move? To build a robot that can climb different trees is tricky. So we considered making Erin's squirrel fly with giant drone propellers, but decided that it would probably just crash a lot. Then we thought maybe some kind of crane would work well, but that would have to be taller than the tallest tree the squirrel encountered, which would make it massive. So we settled on the idea of some kind of mechanical arm, a bit like a small digger arm. So we have a solution for how we are going to drive around the squirrel and we're going to use this old electric wheelchair that some friends gave us. So the next thing to sort is how we are going to control Erin's squirrel. So we're going to use these remote controls which you might recognise from our slime firing robot. <laughs> we're here in nature. With a giant robot squirrel. And it's time to test its pruning abilities. Let's go! It managed a 15 millimetre branch. We're now going to go for a bigger, chunkier one. And these trees are all dead slash dying, so they've got to come down anyway. We are helping get rid of them using a giant squirrel. Go, 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 go. It's like he's got a chainsaw tongue. We pruned a tree! It worked! Okay, now we've got to go for bigger branches. What happens when a giant robot squirrel chews on a tree? Firewood. 
cut by a giant squirrel. It's been raining a bit. He's a bit, bit of a soggy giant robot squirrel. It's fine though, because fake fur is, is well known for its waterproof properties. Why is he going in circles? Come on. It cut through like an actual log. There is a slight design flaw. We didn't think about where all the sawdust was going to go. <laughs> just neatly collect it all inside his yeah. mouth. <laughs> then you just hoover it out. Do you know what that'd be? That'd make a perfect nest for a squirrel. A squirrel and a squirrel. The branch fell on the camera. So we've built and tested the world's first giant robot tree pruning squirrel, thanks to six-year-old Erin. And Erin's invention and some of our others are appearing at the Eden Project in our first ever exhibition, the 10th to the 18th of February. So a massive thank you to the Royal Commission for 1851 for making that happen. And if you know of any kids who might like their invention ideas brought to life, then you can send them to our website. Which will appear on the screen below, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Kids invent stuff.